Hi guys, okay so I'm back today with a mini haul for you and it would be nice to show you the kind of things that I've invested in for this winter time. Now, if you didn't already know, apparently the UK is heading into a horrendous time of year where there's just going to be like incredibly cold, snowy, wet, icy weather. I've decided to invest I suppose in some winter pieces, I think that would really save me this winter time especially if there's going to be like snow and hail and ice and all that kind of stuff that they've already forecast. First thing that I picked up which I think is an absolute winter essential is a pair of thermal socks. A few things in this haul from Trespass but um, yeah a brand that's obviously really good at dealing with the elements and especially cold weather so I picked up these Rapid thermal socks um, and yeah, me, I'm that person that has really, really cold extremities. So I get really cold fingers and my feet freeze as well. So if I'm gonna complain about anything, it's that my feet are either cold or my fingers are cold or my nose is cold. Obviously I've only got one pair here, so I might have to invest in like several, otherwise, you know, I don't want stinky socks or anything. But I thought this would be a nice idea. They're not ideal because they're pink and yeah, I'm not one of those people that like showing pink socks over boots and that kind of stuff, so that's the only thing that I'm not too keen about. But I have tried these on and they are really toasty. The next thing is a slightly new to me, again it's another thing, something else from Trespass. This is like a neck warmer and it's not showing well on the camera but the top bit here is actually a really really bright neon pink. It looks a bit orange in the camera but it's not orange, it's like neon pink. And then this kind of pretty pattern at the bottom. So I'm thinking this is one of those things that you can just sort of like slide over your head which I'm not going to do right now because I'll probably mess up my hair and kind of wear it like here on your neck area. So I guess it kind of like sits here and just covers like your neck. You can wear this like six different ways. I think you can wear it as a balaclava, you can wear it as a headscarf, um, you can wear it as a neck warmer, you can wear it as a cap, like something quite cheap, like four pounds. So I just thought I'd pick it up and try it out. If it doesn't work, then it's not too much of a loss because it wasn't expensive. But I thought it's a nice alternative to having a scarf. The next thing is a bobbly hat because who goes through winter without a hat? Um, I'm not a massive hat wearer, and to be honest, I only wear hats when like it's fashionable to wear a hat. Every hat that is sold these days has a little bubble or a little fluff ball on the top, which is really cute, obviously. Um, and yeah, really good quality hat. And just, I don't know if you can see, but just by the thickness of the knit on the front, it's just really good quality. And I've been through a fair amount of hats as well in my time, especially like woolly hats. Um, and either they like look disgusting after like a couple of wears, or they just fall apart and I feel like this one with the quality of the knit um, is not going to fall apart so quickly. A hat is an absolute must this winter time um, and it might actually make me wear it because I think it looks cute so I don't know I could be donning more of a hat soon. The next thing I think is like the ultimate winter essential um, because I feel like yeah, everything else like accessories but if you don't have the next item then you might as well just stay indoors. I said it in like two vlogs back or whatnot about I needed a coat and I was saying that my coat that I have at the moment is not lined um, and I've had it for about three or no I've had it for about five years I, I think it's about five years and it's just starting to look unsavable and I, I should actually just put it in the bin right now. I need a coat that has criteria and the criteria that I wanted this coat to be was waterproof I wanted it to keep me warm I wanted it to have deep pockets and also something that wasn't like hundreds and hundreds of pounds because at the moment I don't have hundreds and hundreds of pounds to spend on a coat but yeah the coat I got again is some trespass I feel like this is like a trespass haul but anyway it has the detachable fur trim like I said I wanted which is great so I can just pop that off if I don't want it um but yeah this is really i love this because it's not like a coat that i would normally go for and the fact that it's actually like a khaki green color um is great as well because i usually have black and i i mean i would have gone for black but then i thought mm, i don't know i'll change it up a little bit it's waterproof and it's windproof and it has tapered seams it feels like as you put it on somebody's put a heater like it gradually feels like there's a heater and it's like starting to come on like it feels like there's a heat but then actually it's saying like it traps your body heat 
and already I feel really toasty like I almost feel like I'm sweating the last clothing item that I have is a jumper um, now I decided I wanted to like invest in like a chunky knit I saw um, Sammy here on YouTube Samantha, Mar Samantha Maria or here on YouTube and um, she was talking about her new jumper basically ended up you know getting one this looks better on because you can't really see like it when I'm showing up like this because it just looks like a big knitted like jumper and it doesn't look anything special but it just looks so good and it's very flattering as well and the quality of this is amazing um, I think this was about I'm gonna say it was close to 40 pounds I think which to be um fun fact I've never spent that much money on a jumper before in my life so I feel like I've graduated in somewhat to spend as much as 40 quid on a jumper I actually sent um, Sammy a snapchat of me wearing this and she screenshotted it and I was a bit like oh my gosh that she made mine yeah that was kind of like I had a fangirl moment I'm not gonna lie the last thing is not a clothing item I picked up a Jo Malone candle last year um, which was the pomegranate in noir that candle is literally like done now so kind of sad but I burnt it quite a bit and I just wanted something else to replace it so course I took a trip to Jo Malone I thought I'd pick up another fragrance instead of pomegranate noir to try um, and I think the closest one to the closest thing that I like that's slightly wintery so yeah this is the blackberry and bay it's like the travel size version it's like as mature as pomegranate noir and if you smell pome pomegranate noir then you kind of know what I'm talking about it has that grown-up mature smell yeah I thought that would be a really nice addition to my candle collection thanks for watching this video i hope that it's given you some inspiration especially if you're not sure what to get for the winter time or what kind of pieces that you might need that might help you to invest in the right thing and if you're not already subscribed then love if you go ahead and subscribe to this channel have a good day and i'll see you soon bye